And new tonight, comments by a state lawmaker to a rape victim sparking outrage. And now that state senator is apologizing. Seven News reporter Marshall Zellinger live at the state capitol. Marshall, you talked with the victim tonight. That victim is Amanda Collins. She's from Reno, but the NRA brought her here to the state capitol yesterday to testify against banning concealed weapons on college campuses. Amanda was raped at the University of Nevada in 2007 and testified that had she been allowed to carry her weapon on campus, she could have stopped her rape. I know without a doubt in my mind, at some point I would have been able to stop my attack by using my firearm. The Senate Republicans providing us this video of Amanda Collins testifying against a ban on concealed weapons on college campuses. After her testimony, Democratic State Senator Evie Hudak responded that statistics were not on Collins's side. Chances are that, that if you had had a gun, then he would have been able to get that from you and possibly use it against you. For every one woman who used a handgun to kill someone in self-defense, 83 were murdered by them. Almost immediately, the senator attacked on her Facebook page. One comment, the way you treated that rape victim during her testimony was a disgrace and disgusting. Another says, shame on you, Senator. I don't know if I felt more victimized or patronized. Collins speaking to 7 News by phone because she's already back at her Reno home. She tells us after she left the committee hearing, Hudak came out in the hallway and apologized. Do you accept her apology? I forgive the man who raped me without, apologize, without him apologizing to me, so I can forgive her, yeah. Here's a statement from Senator Hudak tonight, quote, I didn't mean to be insensitive towards Amanda Collins' experience. Amanda was reflecting on her experience and asked the committee if having a gun would have made her safer. I realize now it was a rhetorical question. And that ban on concealed carry on college campuses did pass out of that committee. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.